Howdy everybody, hope you're doing well today. Today we will be showing you the best way to farm lead in Fallout 76. First step, uh, you want to get into Excavator Power Armor. Specifically, Excavator uh, has a unique benefit where if you mine ore, well, I believe it's if you have both arm pieces, it might be the leg piece, I can't remember. I believe the arm pieces. As long as you have both arm pieces of Excavator Armor set, you get double the ore when you mine ore in this game which for what we're going to be doing is huge. So the uh, the place we're going to go today to farm lead is going to be the Lucky Hole Mine that is right over here on the bottom right of the map. Uh, here's the standard like nuke site, uh, drop site V9, all that. Uh, just down south uh, east of White Spring. <laughs> I mean a little ways I suppose. Just southeast of Foundation. But go ahead and travel here. There are some uh, cultists, so uh, I mean, at least bring some basic weapons. If you're overleveled like us, you really don't need to care. Uh, if you are still on the grind to level 50, I was going to say this might be a little tougher. And uh, like I said, you can do this without the excavator power armor. However, I would definitely recommend it because you, the return you will get for doing this with excavator power armor versus without is just night and day. So anyway, let's uh, let's get to it. We'll just run up here. There's like I said, there's gonna be some cultists outside. Uh, we could just go buy them, but I'll take the free XP. Oh, wow, this is glitchy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ah, yes, yeah. so uh, if you haven't figured it out by this point, this game runs wonderfully at this point. <laughs> no, they have added NPCs, but there's still the standard glitchiness that is Fallout 76. It's almost like a weird sort of charm for me after so long of playing this game. Anyway, uh, we go into the mine here. Okay, let's see what we got here. Cockroach. Bye. A uh, couple more cultists. Um, I will show you a couple little tips and tricks for this place, just because this is a place I like to farm a lot. So this door is chained initially, right? However, if you come up here, you can drop down right here. And while there's nothing really great, I mean, there's a couple explosive boxes, ammo box, um, a safe. I don't care about that. Uh, there can be power armor that spawns in here. And while that doesn't really matter, power armor... That's not legendary, is it? Uh, <laughs> while power armor like isn't really worth scrapping or anything, uh, you can always snag the fusion core from an extra set of power armor. So if you are running power armor yourself, like I said, you should be running at least excavator in here. Uh, you can get an extra fusion core just to make the trip that much more efficient. But anyway, throughout here you're going to see this. There's going to be lead veins. Uh, they start roughly here, I believe. I could be mistaken. There might be one before this. I don't believe there's much yet. Yeah. So that's the first one I'm aware of. Uh, however, we're going to just hit every single lead vein we can. We're going to hug this path. Again, just clear out the cultists as you go. They're not really a threat. Alright, here we go. But yeah, right here. So we just click this as much as we can. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm getting like three, sometimes four clicks on each one. And if you see the lead I'm getting each click, it's about four. That adds up in a hurry. Um, I'm not sure if this still applies. I believe it used to. Um, However, there's a perk I use as well that might be helping us. I'll show you real quick. I'm not sure that this still applies, or if it even ever did. But Green Thumb uh, reap twice as much when harvesting flora. For some reason, I want to say uh, ores are technically classified as fauna. I do not know that. <laughs> that is me shooting in the dark. Uh, but if you're doing this and uh, you have the excavator arms or the full suit, and uh, you're not getting the four that I am, uh, that's the only difference that I can think of offhand that would cause that difference. But anyway, uh, we're kind of just, yeah, looking around. We're snagging all of these ore veins that are visible. Uh, looks like most of them here. There are a couple more 
cultists. I'm also going to show you a really cool easter egg in here, which I don't know that I've seen any other YouTuber put up. But um, there's a super unique and very cool easter egg hidden in this mine. And actually Bethesda has been adding to this easter egg. I found it accidentally myself one of the times I was running through here. Uh, and I have noticed that with each major update or patch, they typically add something to it. So it actually is uh, kind of a little neat growing Easter egg. I'm hopeful that uh, hopefully it'll be a surprise to you guys. Let's see here. Uh, we will continue. We're just not going to use any of the doors. We're going to just follow this rightmost path. That way we know we cover the most ground. And there might be a couple lead veins. Uh, to be honest, I usually just hit those main alcoves, so I'm kind of just double checking we don't miss any. Yeah, see, there's a couple little. And, like, don't worry about getting all of these. You hit half of them, you're going to have so much lead, it's obnoxious. But for the sake of the video, we will hit as many as we possibly can. I'll shoot you in a second, sir. Let me uh, finish my farming. Alright. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. There's a big group of cultists down here, so yeah, this ain't... Okay. Alright, so now it does swap to crystal at this point, so just be aware of that. I really do not need glass. Uh, I believe crystal gives you glass shards, which we do not need any of at this point. So I'm not going to mine the crystal. Uh, it's mostly just this one cave we're in right now that changes to crystal. So we'll just go, we'll bypass this one. We'll double check a couple just, but I'm, oh yeah, it does stop to let at the back. I th I'm pretty sure the large bulk in this chamber are crystal. I guess we'll double check the edges. Yeah, crystal, crystal. That's good enough. We oh yeah, yeah, more crystal. And here's like the main room of cultists. A couple cultist swords if you guys want them. Or you need the recipe. There's a key there, I believe, as well as the hollow tape if you don't have it. I believe there's a key uh, somewhere around there. Uh, there are a couple of veins on the wall here on the right, yeah. So we'll snag these. Alright, and uh, we actually will backtrack a little here. This is going to lead us to one of the doors. Uh, frankly, I don't know that there is uh, any real lead uh, this way. Oh wait, no, this is where we came through. My bad. And then this connects to that same cave with all the crystal. Okay, so yeah, that's the middle and, I mean, f facing inward from the entrance, that'd be the rightmost, facing outward from where we are, the leftmost side. But uh, we just got this path left. Yeah, the key I opened that with is the key that I pointed to on the podium. Alright, so this connects back to the main path. This is one of the doors we didn't open. Alright, so, that's, uh, I believe there's one other door we still have yet to cover, but this is the path we want right here. So this path is going to show, uh, or t take us to the Easter Egg, as well as give us some more lead. There is more lead in this tunnel as well. So, I don't know if you guys caught that right there. I'm going to go back for it, um, but that's the way to the, uh, trunk for this level as well as like kind of a hidden little room as well as the easter egg which many of you might think oh like that room is the easter egg and if you're talking about the room with the main trunk that is not at all what i'm discussing or talking about we'll go back to it like i said um i used to know the key code to this i believe there is one or two lead veins in there there is a duffel bag and some other shit as well so, like, I can't remember where the key code is. I think there might be a note somewhere in here. Ooh, there's another cave crook in front of us. I believe there's a note somewhere in this mine that tells you the combo. Uh, maybe in that room where that uh, power armor can spawn, uh, what I showed you at the start. I'm not sure on that, though. 
Uh, that being said, I usually just don't even bother with it at this point. Um, when I was running this a lot, it just seemed uh, less efficient to really bother with in my experience. Okay, this is gonna lead up here, leads to that other door that we bypassed. We'll run up here just to demonstrate. Yep, there's the first door we bypass. All right, so at this point we have covered all the paths. But, let's, uh, let's get to this secret, right? The secret secret. So I don't know how many of you guys in chat saw the way. I, I flashed over it like in the briefest of glances. From this direction it'll be easier to see. So keep an eye out. Hopefully you catch it. Keep, uh, I feel like I'm missing some more. But you see this right here? This is what I was talking about. When we came through, I kind of glanced at it like that. But, oh wait, is this lead? No, okay. Let's head through here. So this normally is the path that leads you to the trunk of the level. There's more lead in here as well. Uh, these halls are brutal. Like, there's lead all throughout them, but some of the times you can only see them really... Or, they kind of only stick out heading down the path from one direction. So when you come back out, make sure you double check the wall still because there are some, I feel like, that kind of get tucked in the corners. However, we keep going here. Like I said, we're going to get to the trunk of the level or of the dungeon or whatever you want to call it. Those usually pretty much function like picture like a treasure chest at the end of a dungeon in Diablo 2. There's usually a cultist in here as well, I believe. Not this time. Not this time. Okay. Also, this ritual mask. Um, pretty rare, uh, actually, in the base game. If you snag it from here, you can sell it. I've seen them sell for upwards of five grand, actually. Oh, five grand. Five thousand bottle caps. So, I mean, it's got some value. That being said, I think that's highway robbery. I'd sell it probably maybe for 500 caps, and that still seems like a lot. Um, awesome billboard here. Syringe plus buff out equals fun. Uh, but anyway, this is like the normal end of the dungeon, right? So, this is already kind of tucked away in a little cave most people miss. Uh, there is, I think, more glass in here. I don't think there's any lead. Right? This is all crystal. Crystal. Yeah. So there's more crystal if you need more glass, but like I said, glass is kind of useless compared to lead. Now, you guys ready for the real Easter egg? This is the part I found accidentally. This is the secret. The first time I found this, I was trying to backpedal through here, trying to find lead on the walls, and I just backed right through that, right? Looks completely obtuse, looks completely like opaque, like blocks your path, but you can walk right through this, right? Clearly a hidden tunnel. Now let's see what's at the bottom of this. There are some cultists, typically. No cult- oh! They loaded in. Uh, <laughs> maybe they're programmed to be a jump scare there? Maybe it's the glitch of the game. Could be either. But, as you can see, there's like a Cthulhu-esque fucking body in here. Like, this thing's massive. Um, which I don't know if it's like a removed model or something that might be in a DLC down the road, but I would love to fight this thing in game. So, like I said, this Easter egg has grown over time. As you can see, there's like a whole, there's little shrines set up. There's these monolithic heads behind it. Um, originally, in the base game, this thing was in here by itself. There was no cultists in this room, no candles. Uh, none of this stuff in the background, none of the shrines, it was just this body, and it was creepy as hell when I found it. And then they added, I want to say they added these heads, these monolith head things behind it, and then when they did the Mothman thing is, I believe, when they added in the cultists and the shrines in here. But no, uh, I really hope that they keep expanding on this. I really hope you get to fight this thing, because 
I think it would be awesome to fight one of these things. But anyway, yeah, that's the mine. Uh, we've got everything we need from here. We'll, we'll just fast travel out, and we will take a look at the hall we got. So give me just one more load screen. Uh, one more load screen, I mean, for you guys. Like I said, we'll probably fast forward. Ah, uh, the glitchy load of my spawn. Alright, where are we at? Let's check out what our haul was for the day. Now remember, the biggest part of this thing is you want excavator armor. Even if you don't use power armor normally, even if you normally use it and it's not excavator armor, swap to it just for this. Just because the benefit of the double ore is what really makes this, like, absolutely the most broken way to farm uh, lead. Uh, all right, we're gonna go ahead and we also uh, just to maximize this a little further uh, Like I said, that's the green thumb perk if there's something that's not working for you That's why we're gonna take off bloody mess uh, that usually just gives us a little extra damage And we're gonna swap to super duper for our crafting here If you don't have super duper uh, you I think unlock it at level 50 This is maybe the best perk in the game anytime you craft anything. There's a 30% chance you just get double that doesn't sound like much, but trust me, it is a tremendous amount, especially when you're doing things like this. So, we'll go to a smelting table, crafting table, chemistry table, whatever you want to call it. We go to smelting. How much lead ore do you guys think we pulled out of that? Let's see how many crystal. Eight? Oh, we probably don't have much lead, right? How much lead ore? I was at zero before we went in there. We ended up with 384 lead ore. Costs 2 lead ore to make 5 lead scrap. You can do the math here. We don't even have enough acid to purify what we have. But we just purified 234 scrap pieces. That over encumbered us for sure. What do we got in the junk department now? 745 lead scrap. We still have another 150 lead ore at five times per piece, and that's assuming we don't get any super duper bonuses. Uh, we're talking about a shitload. <laughs> so yeah, no. If uh, if you're looking to get lead, if you need to craft ammo, if you need lead for any other thing, or if you're just like me and you love to use lead as your best way to form. Uh, to farm bottle caps. Uh, I'll show you right here what you do. Uh, this is definitely the way to go. There's not going to be a better place for you to farm lead. Not that I've seen. Not that I've heard of. If you if you know better, please let me know. I don't... Oh, I thought we might have killed ourselves there. Yeah, if you can find better, let me know. But I don't know how you could... I, this already feels like it breaks the game. But anyway, let's go right here. we got a bunch of cheap prices. You can usually sell for more than I do. I just want to move stuff the fastest. It usually helps me to just lose weight. However, bulk lead all day, every day, you can sell this at 60 caps. No problem. Just as much as you want to put in there. Uh, like I said, you can easily get like 25 bulk lead if you have the plastic to make it doing this run. Easily. Easily. If not like twice that. Uh, so... Yeah, you can quickly mass a huge amount of lead, uh, and with that huge amount of lead, you can amass a huge amount of caps. That being said, 60 is the low end of this. People love lead. People love crafting their own ammo. Uh, weirdly, they like crafting it more than buying just the bullets straight up, because we sell the bullets dirt cheap as well. Uh, so, uh, I find that lead, uh, ironically, is, yeah, the best mover I ever list. So, uh, yeah, please enjoy. Uh, Please feel free to abuse it, get some caps, get some money, get some ammo. But, uh, yeah, I hope, uh, I hope this was helpful. Don't forget, uh, excavator armor is the key. If you do not have excavator armor, I cannot quite remember. Uh, I know it's got to do with the mining company. Uh, I believe probably here's the best place to start. I think you can proc a quest over here to get the plans to craft your own excavator armor. So, yeah, I hope this was helpful. I uh, look forward to bringing you guys some more tips and tricks in the future. Otherwise, uh, yeah, just take her easy here, and uh, we're off.